Hello, my name is Eric Bach, and I welcome you to another session of Techniques brought to you by NEI. In today's session, we will show you how to install TerraSync desktop software in viewer mode. Okay, so our first step is to go out to neigps.com. Once we get to the website, we're going to click under the Solutions section and look for Support. And under Support Documentation, we're going to go down to Mapping in GIS. In this section, under Download, we're going to choose Software Downloads. And then scroll down and look for TerraSync for Windows XP, Vista, and 7, 5.41. Once the software has been downloaded, we're going to browse to the location where the file was saved. We're going to choose the TerraSync Desktop Setup application file. We're going to choose the English language and click OK. The software will begin to install. On the welcome screen, we're going to click on the Next button. You can read through the license agreement. We're going to accept the license agreement and click on Next. In this segment of the Install Wizard, it's telling us we need a valid installation code in order to install TerraSync. This would be applicable if we were using a tablet PC such as a Yuma 2 and wanted to run a full version of TerraSync. However, we're installing TerraSync in a viewer mode to be used with programs inside of PFO such as the Data Dictionary Editor in TerraSync Studio. So we're just going to choose I already have registered and have a valid installation code and click on Next. This section of the Install Wizard is asking us to enter an installation code. We're going to leave this blank since the viewer mode does not require an installation code. However, if you were to enter a code here, it would lock it down to this PC and you would not be able to install it on your mobile device, in which case you would have to call NEI to have us deactivate the code. So we're going to leave this blank, and we're going to click on Next. This section is asking us if we want to change the destination folder. We're going to accept the default and click on Next. And then to begin the installation, we're going to click on Next again. Software will install on your desktop. The last thing here is a little warning about changes in the GEOID model interpolation. Read through this as needed and click OK when you're finished. And we're finally going to click on the Finish button to finish with the installation. All right. Now that TerraSync has been installed, we're going to test out the program. We're going to go in the Start menu. We're going to look for Trimble folder. We're going to choose the GPS Pathfinder Office folder, and we're going to open the Data Dictionary Editor tool. Once open, we're going to click on File and click on Open, and we're going to choose a Data Dictionary file that we want to view, or work on for that matter. In this case, this Data Dictionary has three features, a light, a sidewalk, and a parking lot with various attributes. We're going to click on Preview and TerraSync, to see what these attributes look like. It's going to open up TerraSync Viewer Mode. We're going to click on Professional Edition, and you'll see our Data Dictionary file opens up as it would look on a mobile device. We're going to click on Streetlight, and you'll be able to view the attributes we have built inside this Data Dictionary Editor. If we want to make any changes, we would close out the file, make the changes, and open again and look at it. This concludes our technique session. We hope that you found this beneficial and will join us again soon. Thank you.